Jacob. He is beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> I planned a perfect second out in Forest. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Fools and hysteric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not deign to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not building anything. It just is. <laughs> say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? <laughs> He's hired a fiendishly talented woman, one Hattie Cadwallader, to procure works for him. She has excellent taste. We're kidnapping her for the sin of being Starrick's collector? Oh, my dear, no. We are kidnapping her not because she loves art, but because she finances Starrick's enterprises by selling it. One must never mix art and money. Wait for me with the carriage. I'll pay her a visit. <laughs> Splendid. Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She bench a statue not far from here. <laughs> the statue must be around here somewhere. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw he pinched it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? Shards down the sewers, sir. Of course it's sewers. Bless you, sir. Very sorry about that. Come now. No need to apologize. Why the bloody sewers? Mr. Starrick, his next delivery. 
whenever he's on its way. And tell him, too, that I've grown tired of these working conditions. It wasn't Staric who sent me. Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Ha! I look forward to it. <sighs> Why the Alhambra? Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. If one of the productions pleases me, I am over the moon. The theatre is in my blood, as you so astute. Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away.
Maria. this did Rob send you the villain you have your villains mixed up mr. raffles the man you work for is the real villain here Most fragrant raffles. How very good to see you again. Get a well, Roth. It's into the back with you then. Who is this Lewis that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solemn. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swineborn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack and you cut Steric's ties to the police force. <laughs> Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Let's go. Whoa! All these bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yar. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do.
That's not to say you both have bad names. We're proud of our names. Very good English names. <laughs> Thank you. But Helga wants the child to have a German name. I see. It's really as simple oh, as that. What's going on? Something going on there. A while you've really let yourself go shame now it's into the back with you Fine, girl. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. Drop the 